welcome everyone to Harold's Rest a podcast so bad that if you don't have a drink you'll definitely need one. I'm Lucas and with me is Jamie. Hey. <laughs> High energy, Jamie. Woo woo. S- such enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah. Um, I always I, feel I g- bad talking when the cat's asleep. <laughs> oh god, no. I I think we should give fair warning that this podcast episode will definitely not be safe for work or public. <laughs> yeah, maybe just like delete. Delete, 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 delete. Uh, yeah. Cause, oh, yeah, we're on iTunes and stuff now, officially. So you can delete it if you're subscribed. I have no idea if anybody's actually sub- subscribed to any of them on any of the things it's on, but... I doubt it, but yeah, we are. Yeah, I don't know how to check, so... <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. Yeah. Uh, what are you drinking today, Fossil? Uh, I'm just drinking water. I don't have anything fancy. I am drinking it out of a fancy glass chalice, though, which I bought Mm. recently. I'm drinking peppermint tea out of a cute little teacup that I got for my birthday from a person I barely know, but it has a J on it and flowers, so. You're drinking tea? Yeah, because I have to do stuff today. (laughs) Okay, I... I, d- I didn't take you for a person that would drink peppermint. Yeah, well, I'm out of the raspberry. That's my favorite. Ah. But I have, like, a giant box of peppermint. Like, I bought, a ver- not a variety, but a just, like, a box of six packs of 20 of peppermint and raspberry, and I drink the raspberry more, so that's all gone. So. Yeah, we, we have, like, an entire kitchen cupboard filled to the brim with different kinds of tea. Like, somewhere in between there, there's, like, two packages that belong to me. One of them is uh, <laughs> loose Earl Grey, and one of them is peppermint. And the rest of the, I think it's, like, a, squ- a, a cubic meter, is just filled with all sorts of stuff from my girlfriend. I have no idea what it is. I have green tea and oolong and black, but I think, uh, and, like, a sleepy time tea, which I, it probably has peppermint in it and, like, I don't know, I drugs. If <laughs> <laughs> probably drugs, yeah. But I don't think it has peppermint because peppermint usually gives you energy. Really? Good. Yeah. Because I have to be awake for hours and hours and hours. Okay, yeah, a, a lot has happened since the last podcast. Most <laughs> of <laughs> all, um, a right, hurricane. Right, this is late. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, this is late. Late but not pregnant. So that's good. <laughs> so okay. yeah, just like, tell us about how the hurricane went. It was, I mean, it was bad in the Bahamas, but for Florida, at least where I am in Florida, it was pretty much nothing. Just wasted my time. (laughs) Boring yourself at your mom's. Yeah. Stressed out my cat because she, we had to take her out of the house and bring her over to my mom's. But yeah. It's a dog. Like, it it was a real dick move, like, of the hurricane because it just, you know, all of them like predicted it. Oh, ah, yeah, it's gonna hit Florida on Tuesday or whatnot, and it, ju- it just went to the Bahamas. It's and gonna be a five. Well, it was a five. It was a two, I think, when it was finally over us. Yeah, it it was a five in the Bahamas, and then it sat there for like sixteen mm-hmm. hours, and then it just yeah, moved can on. Yeah, imagine. Huh. Anyway, it was called Hurricane Dorian. Yeah. Yeah. Hurricane Dorian. It's funny. One day we'll stop talking. I think I'm probably the one who interrupts the most, actually. Uh, but one day I'll learn how to not talk over you. <laughs> I don't think we do. I don't think we ever will. Mm. Okay. Well, shit. It makes editing fun. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> I try to get it out. Um, I guess I guess we'll just jump into uh, Fussell's Kitchen Corner. Did you make anything uh, super fun or interesting since last time we talked? Um, on here. <laughs> well, aside from a few breads, I have dialed it down a bit. Yeah. <laughs> but I also made cake, for, like for the first yeah. time in a while. I made some. Um, I, I don't. Is it shortbread? Wh- whatever shortbread mm. crust uh, with p- pudding filling, and it was a very very interesting pudding. Because it was vanilla pudding made with orange juice and applesauce. It was something. It tasted good, but it was also very unexpected. What was the texture of that like? Just mush? Regular pudding. 
That makes sense. I just blended the apples until nothing was left. Mm. But yeah, other than that, I did make some black forest cake for my father, of, of which he took half and I got half back for me and my girlfriend. Oh, nice. Yeah. I got to have really good pie during the hurricane that my mom made because... Uh, what pie did you make? Um, it's a chocolate peanut butter mousse pie with Oreo crust. And every time I eat it, I lose 10 pounds. So it's magical. It only works on me, and I think it's because my body's screwed up somehow. D does she mix meth in there? Maybe. Probably yeah. not. She doesn't <laughs> like to eat it, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe she does. <laughs> mm. You should ask her for the recipe. I think she gave it to me forever ago, and then it looked too complicated, so I was just like, I'll just wait for when she <laughs> makes it. <laughs> okay, that's a fair point, yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't cooked anything because I've been afraid to use my oven and my stove with a cat in the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like to be perfectly honest, I think even if you didn't have a cat, you wouldn't have done anything because you're just lazy. <laughs> well, I would have cooked like all my like boxed pasta things, but I've been too afraid to even do that. Well, the term cooking is a very loose term here. So, yes. Like, is making tea cooking? Technically, cooking describes just the making of food, so even, you know, pouring cereal and milk into a bowl is cooking. Okay, then I cook every day. Thank you. <laughs> Hooray. Oh well, yeah, other than that, not much going on in the kitchen. Nothing noteworthy, at least. I did have black rice today for the first time. I saw that. It was interesting. Yeah. Is the texture weird? No, the texture is just like regular rice. But um, well, to be fair, I don't know what it you know would taste like with just salt because I did it the way I always do rice with like star anise and everything else in there. But mm -hmm. it does kind of taste like I don't know if you ever had them violet potatoes. Uh, it does not sound like something I would eat. <laughs> well, so I'm gonna say I haven't. <laughs> For for anyone that's listening that ever had those, that's what black rice tastes like. It tastes kind of starchy and a bit like flowers and potatoes. So yeah, there there is that. What kind of flowers? I don't know. S somewhere between dandelions and grass trimmings. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I'm gonna move us along real quick to Elle's abomination abode. Oh god, help me. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I like this one, but I thought I had saved a few, uh, but I hadn't, so I had to, like, go through her timeline today, searching. <laughs> oh, gee. What? <laughs> fuck's sake. No. So, did you ever watch that video, the bigger than before egg thing? No. Can't say I have. No. Is isn't it just someone that dissolved the eggshell with acid and then injected it? I think it's like vinegar, and then they put it in maple syrup, and then they put it in, uh, I don't know, food coloring oh. in water. It's stupid. Okay. Yeah, it sounds stupid, but just putting his face on there is, uh, <laughs> well, to be fair, we come to expect nothing less from Elle. <laughs> um, let's, okay, this one is, oh, shit. So difficult to do anything on the internet. Just kidding. <laughs> this one, because it's relevant. Oh, for fucks. <laughs> Hurricane Dorian, anyway, that's. These are, you know, she's back at school, so she's not as cursed as normal. Uh, but this one's pretty good. Sh shouldn't, shouldn't that make you even more cursed? Mm, she doesn't have time. She's probably. Studying, I don't know. She's a, she's a student. She has nothing but time. <gasps> I don't know. Essays. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> I've seen that one. High quality. Uh, that one's classic. pretty good. Yeah. I really like that one. And it's. I don't think it's cursed, really. I just think it's nice. Um, yeah. Speaking yeah. of non-cursed images, we got our first email submission since the last time, Ooh. if I know how to pull yeah, shit yeah, up. Yeah, you, s you s said that a while ago. I haven't checked it out. Oh. So. 
It's, this is still new to me. Well, I'm gonna be lazy and just um, do this real quick. Uh, I guess oh. it's the magic of editing later. Yeah. That. Okay. It's a movie poster. And I'm probably <laughs> gonna say her name wrong, but this is from Noelle Dressery. She's on Tumblr and Twitter with that name. Um, and <sighs> it's just a movie poster of Solace, and it says Eggman, and he's got a gun. Not cursed, but pretty good. I'm. <laughs> I'm <big> conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> I like his evil face. It it does fit for the tone of the movie, yes. I wonder what the other poster it like what's it oh Hitman, never mind. It says it on the bottom, yes, okay. It's, it. <laughs> it's it's Hitman, yes. <laughs> um so yeah, if anybody else wants to send in some stuff, we do prefer it to be cursed, just because I like to torture fossil, but uh heraldsrest at gmail dot com and here's our last non-submission one, also from L. Our savior. <laughs> yes. And it's a picture of Solus, and he is Jesus, and I just think you know, that's probably it's just what he looked like before the veil, honestly. Do you do you think, I'm kind of curious, what would Solus look like with a beard? Like that! Like, can you imagine Solus, well, you know, different beard, can you imagine Solus with like a black ball beard? Yes. <laughs> well, of course you can. <laughs> Very good imagination. <laughs> I can imagine that, yes. I feel like uh, I've seen a picture of Solus with a beard edited on. Um, but I have no idea who or where or why. But I'm sure it exists. Probably L. Probably. Probably, yeah. Well, should we move on to the main topic of the video, which will would, would probably get us banned off every site? Hell yeah. The main topic of this video <laughs> is... Um, the depravity of the modding community in especially yes. Bethesda games. This is our horny we... episode. <laughs> yes, definitely. Each of us took a game, we and we just went through the deepest, darkest chasms of the modding community. Jamie got Skyrim, I got Fallout 4 spe specifically. So yeah, Jamie, you wanna start with the first mod you found? Well, actually, I took two and I got some Dragon Age ones, cause you know. Oh. Uh, so I have I have, The Witcher also. My God, you've been busy. My Skyrim ones aren't that bad actually, cause I, I thought you were gonna do some Skyrim ones too, since there's so many. So they're just kind of um, weird, more than. No, I just focus on Fallout. Okay, um, I will start with Skyrim just to ease us in. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> that's that's not a good sentence for the topic of conversation. This is pretty basic, uh, so, sexy statues. Oh, for really? And I like that in the description they use Comic Sans, it's a nice choice. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you know, sometimes you need your statues to have some nipple, and uh, I can clearly see labia in one of them, so. Obviously, that's that's a vital component of any statue. Yeah, I can't just be running past some basic, boring, smooth statues. Give me some texture in Skyrim. Exactly. I don't These know. aren't I'll labeled on my list, so let me open and see what the next one is. Or do you have something to say about the boring stuff? No, just more sexy statues is the next link. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Hold on. I will send it to you anyway. These are worse, I think. Even more sexy statues. Mm -hmm. Oh, for God's sake, who made these? Like, who went around Skyrim and saw, like, the few statues in between and was like, you know what? You know what is missing here? Tits. E everything. It's not like they don't have boobs before, I'm sure. I mean... They do. I've never paid attention, but I'm sure they had boobs. But these are yes. like massive porn star boobs, which doesn't make sense. She's gonna have a hard or a sore back from it. She's gotta stand like that forever. <laughs> God damn it! People I... Think about their backs. Exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fucking Skyrim. Sexy. Oh Jesus Christ! You really? You can't just have your women standing around all boring. You've gotta have them pose for you in their skimpy little outfits, so it's called Sexy <laughs> Idol Animation. 
Uh, there's oh, video sake. so you can see what it looks like. You know, you want to check it out beforehand. I I'd rather not. The goal of this idol is to have an effect the female character more sexy? <laughs> That's a sentence, I guess. Um, yes. <sighs> it's, it's something, alright. You don't like it? Uh, I, I'll pass. Thank you very okay. much. Well, we got a couple more. Oh. <laughs> See, there are so many worse mods for Skyrim, but mm -hmm. I, just, I just went... This one... I just wanted to... <laughs> oh, oh, for God's sake, really? Just feet. I don't even know. Just feet. Removes all footwear oh. and gauntlets from the game. The boots and gauntlets do still exist, and you still get the stats. However, they're invisible. Uh, they also yeah. misspelled there. Mm, yes, they did. But, like, I never got that... You know, I, I know that there are some re really, really, really weird and fucked up fetishes out there. Mm -hmm. But I, I never got feet. <laughs> like, why? Yeah. Just, just why? Um, well, I just went into the posts on this mod to see what people were saying, and one of the comments is, Quentin Tarantino approves. Because he's got a foot fetish. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's... Can, can we move on? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Please. P please. Next one please. could also be feet for all I know, so hold on. <laughs> What's that now? <laughs> Argonian reptilian feet, because I guess the other one didn't have enough feet. Argonians didn't have high-res feet, <laughs> so they just had to edit. Let's see what... Oh, oh, Okay. This last one is actually... Uh, um, like, uh, still on the note of that feed mod, there is uh -huh. a, a sentence here. Includes an optional fix for those who use an SOS. And SOS doesn't sound for, it doesn't stand for, you know, that you need help. It stands, mm -hmm. uh, it stands for Schlongs of Skyrim. Really? Because what else would it stand All for? All right. Yeah, fuck. So this next one... <laughs> It's a hentai intro for Skyrim, because, you know, the boring black screen is just like, meh. And they have to spell out in the description, all girls in this intro are adult, not child. Mm, so, obviously. Mm -hmm. There was a video of that, and I did watch it, and I did feel like I should delete my computer. <laughs> just the whole thing. Is, is there still just the default Skyrim theme? Like, the, that I don't like, think so. It was, it was, like, kind of jumpy, poppy kind of... I'm not good at oh. music description. So they just but they they replaced the you know awesome title music with K-pop. Mm -hmm. It'd be <laughs> amazing, possibly. Okay, Fuck's um, sake. you know, some people you need some hentai in your Skyrim. Don't judge. Obviously. It really lets you know what the game's about too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, to be fair, if you if you mod it enough, it yeah, will be. Yeah. Um, okay, it's your turn to do Fallout now, because that's all I took for Skyrim. <laughs> okay, let's start with this one. I'm excited. Uh, b before we go into, you know what CBBE is? The mod for Fallout and Skyrim? <laughs> yes, I have. I think I have it on Skyrim. Yeah. There is this masterpiece for Fallout, which turns all of the oh, vaginas no. into... <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Wait. <laughs> the, the mod in question is CBBE, which stands for Caliente's uh, Beautiful Bodies Enhancement or something like that, I believe. Uh, Innies, which turns all of the female vaginas into Innies. It looks like it also does it for nipples. Yes, that too. If you don't know what it is, just Google it real quick. We won't explain that here. <laughs> An innie rather than an Audi P word that I don't want to say. It may be called a camel toe P word, or in Japanese, sujiman. Naturally. Okay. Features brand new nipples. I, I like, I, I was just, I found that and I just sat here like wondering why? Who paid that close attention to it? Sometimes you want an innie. <laughs> how, how would you just play the game instead of focusing on that? Also, it's like, okay, do you see like the, the diagram that they have to explain? Yes. <laughs> like, that's not even... I mean, if a woman were laying like that, you would see the inside parts, like... Definitely. If, unless she was sewn up. If, you, if it looks like that when you're lying down, you should go see a doctor. 
yeah, there's something not quite, uh, right. What they should look like is what it says at the bottom. <laughs> All right. Well, that's kind of rude, but okay. <laughs> well, if you say so. Well, moving on, we have this masterpiece of modern art. It, for those that don't know, the modern question is idiot savant to idiot slut. There is a skill or you know, ability in Fallout 4 that is called idiot savant, which causes you to randomly laugh like a maniac. <laughs> and this mod turns that random laughing into random moaning, because why oh. wouldn't it? I don't think moaning yes. randomly makes you a slut, though. That's kind of rude. Maybe well, you just you remembered idiot. a good back rub you had before. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, again, wondering, why do you need this? Why is that necessary? Because video games need to be all about sex stuff, obviously. Oh, oh. yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. It says, uh, it changes the description of the perk to, you're not stupid, just dot 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 horny. Yes. Well, <sighs> there is no coming back from this, so we move <laughs> on to <laughs> this one. Which is literally just called a sex mod. Oh. And it does exactly what you think it does. Oh, it's not in English. Cool. Is this German? Uh, yes, it is in German. And what does translated, it, it, uh, it gives you the ability to have sex with any random NPC by just going up to them and talking to them. What about enemies? Uh, any NPC you can talk to, so no, not enemies. Oh, oh wow, lots of pictures, yep. huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, okay, wait, there is more. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, then, you know, just improving upon a sex mod, we have this one called Atomic Lust. Oh. Which is also a sex mod. But uh, uh, this one has... Audis? This, <laughs> yeah. Th this one has fully immersive sex and foreplay with different and progressing animations. Yeah, yeah there's a gif of uh, doing it in the... I don't remember what it's called. A cryo chamber or cryopod? Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, wow. That's just a lot of gifs. <laughs> <laughs> I feel scandalized. Oh, but then there's like a people kissing and they're wearing clothes and that's sweet. They love each other. Oh, a hug. That's not bad. Hugs are nice. Uh, I don't know what that one is. Oh, spanking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot. <sighs> I should have uh, gotten alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have gotten the emergency vodka. Mm -hmm. Then, moving on, there is this one, which is called Vodger Main Menu Animated. Important. Which Kinda replaces. Like the obviously. In uh -oh. Fallout, for those that don't know, whenever you have a loading screen, there is usually just a random model from the game, kind of like in Skyrim and a short description. Well, instead of a random model, you just have, you know, <laughs> models of Vault Girls doing. All sorts of very questionable yeah, things. Touching boobs and licking faces. Oh, and oh wow, collar. And licking other places, yes. <gasps> uh oh. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, just saw some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my abs don't get weird after this episode. <laughs> just imagine if your boyfriend walked in right now. <laughs> Door is locked. I hope the cat. Okay, cat's still asleep. She's not seeing anything bad. Um, oh, right, there is, right, we're not done yet. I don't know how I'm going to share these in the video. Just <laughs> I guess I can blur stuff. Second to last one, we have this, the female CBBE volume pubic hair, which adds volumetric oh, pubic hair. Does that mean it like moves in the wind or something? I believe, yes. Can can you shape it? Some? Is that like you can? Okay. You have different styles. 
<laughs> I, I'm very glad that we're on the same page. It reminds me of something. It's It kind of looks like a toupee, right? It's very strange <laughs> shaped hair. Oh, Jesus. And then, you know, because it isn't depraved enough, we have the last, uh -huh. the kind of cherry on top of the <laughs> hentai body pillows. Oh. <laughs> I like that we both ended on hentai. No, no game is complete without hentai body pillows. Let's see, okay, she's wearing clothes. So is she. I, I think they're all wearing clothes, but it's just, <sighs> you know, the fact that it's, it's a mod. Someone made this. Can you cuddle it in the game? Oh, hug pillow. <laughs> yes, you can. That's sweet. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> well, hugs again are nice. Yes, but not with an anime body pillow. <laughs> hey, an animated anime <laughs> body pillow. You're not even doing the hugging yourself. Yeah. That's... Yes, um... Oh. There, there is no coming back from this. We're forever tainted, Jamie. Well... Wait, because I've still got the Witcher. <laughs> oh, God, no. I like this one. Um, prepare yourself. But to be fair, I also went through a few of the Witcher. I just didn't... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Immersive <laughs> testicles. A definitive and comprehensive <laughs> system, including testicular thermodynamics and much more. But at least the mod had the decency to include Welcome to the most fucking pointless mod ever. <laughs> he at least knows that it's... Yeah. Ever wanted to have an immersive testicle experience? That's fucking right you didn't. <laughs> this mod gives you exactly that with trademark technologies such as testicular thermodynamics, testicular humidity, testicular chafing, and many more. That's, um... <laughs> Important. <laughs> well, at least the mod is self-aware. And most of the mods for The Witcher are like, make everybody naked. So I like that they're doing a little something for Geralt, you know? Th there is one mod for The Witcher that just gives Geralt a massive dong. Yeah, I have that and one, I think, on my list, obviously. <laughs> just, just gives him a, a permanent massive hard-on. It's important. Th doesn't that hurt after a while? <laughs> maybe it's a Witcher mutation thing. Maybe you can't even feel it. Yeah, maybe. Okay, this one, I don't, I don't... I don't understand it, but here you go. It may. Uh, excuse me, what? <laughs> Women look like leopard. Huh? Women look like leopard. It just says that, like, over and over. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Women look like leopard. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've changed in total 68 female heads. Okay? Just the heads. <laughs> Some women do not have the wrong face. What does that mean? I don't know. Have not found the right textures. Okay. <laughs> That's... Why? I don't know. Women look like leopard. First comment. If it's not a sexual fetish, I don't know what it is. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Women look like leopard. No, they don't. They look like they rolled into in mud and got ringworm. That's an accurate <laughs> That's description. That's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Simple question. Why? Easy answer. Because I can. You can kill monster, etc. Then why not sex with mon monster? And Gerald is a monster. <laughs> monster sex with normal women? Perversely. Will monster sex with monster? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. <sighs> so good. Oh, uh, love it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, okay. This one. I don't like this one. So oh god, it doesn't. That that's not good. No, it's uh, it's, I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Real what? horse rears. <laughs> Doc. <laughs> sake. I don't know why. Can you make a shemale version so we can have horse p word and a horse c word with horse eggs to see on all horses, please? Question mark <laughs> exclamation point. <laughs> Someone said, what? <laughs> uh, someone, this is disgusting. Okay, fair. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, not the mod we need, but the mod <laughs> we deserve. I, I venture to say that we don't deserve this. <laughs> Hi. I someone guess this said, is for when Garrett yeah. doesn't have enough coin yeah. to afford prostitutes. <laughs> That's about to read. Uh. Oh, for God's sake. 
Uh, anyway. This, this is evidence that we need another plague. Or another Jesus. Or that. To die for our sins. Uh, alright. This, this is less, less awful. Still kind of weird. Underwearless Geralt. Um. And he looks like a Ken doll, but less defined. <laughs> Well, this is at least, in comparison to everything else, it's very, very tame. Yeah, I think it's safe for work. This, the modding community is... Uh, Depraved. Yeah. Yes, And did you see earlier so. on Twitter, Elle said she was about to go in like a spiral of making mods for Dragon Age, so... Well, all hope is lost. Yeah. Milkwall, but for uh, real this time. Uh, just, just abandon ship right now. I mean, I also have the naked Geralt mod, which I can send to you, but... Yeah, no, I don't I mean, <laughs> <laughs> It's looking at me now. I'm just gonna close that window. I, I still don't get over that horse mod. Yeah, it's pretty, it's uh... Disturbing. <laughs> did you do anything for it, or just the Fallout ones? I uh, just did the Fallout ones. Okay, well, let me send you a Dragon Age one that I... And I guess I get it in theory, <laughs> but... It's your sister. <coughs> it's your sister. <laughs> Romance Bethany. Yeah. It's your sister. C can I not? <laughs> I, I mean, sh sure we can, but, you know, not in Dragon Age 2, please. Yeah. Just, just put her in Inquisition, do one of those swap mods. Or just put her in Dragon Age 4 if it ever comes out. If she's alive in your game. Yes, but then to be fair... Also, don't because Bethany turned out to be a pain in the ass. I th I think I have not finished uh, the game with her as my sibling because she always I I like to play a mage in Dragon Age too. Yeah, I also like Carver better than Bethany. I'm undecided. I like I thought she seemed nice, and then I was playing with her, and I was like, eh, I don't know. I'm gonna send you another one real quick for Dragon Age, yeah. and I want you to look at the pictures. Oh god, I'm scared. I want you, yeah, I want you to really look. At least the the, <sighs> the the last one with Ogren, and I guess that's the warden. <clears throat> I could share that on YouTube. I think that's safe. That's a safe image, right there. Uh, yes. Ogren is <sighs> looking into your soul. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, this is called the Pearl's New Boys. So you know. They don't have uh, male prostitutes in either of the games, do they? That you can actually. I, I think they do in Dragon Age Two. Okay, good. I think the, I think you have male prostitutes there. Good. But the best part about this mod is you can use the pictures because they're all safe for work. Yeah. Or at least censored. censored. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the one with Ogren, <laughs> not the star yes. one, but you know, very tastefully cropped. Jesus, who makes this? <laughs> I have oh god um I have to assume it's young boys maybe girls too who just you know aren't of an age where sex is freely available so they're like yeah hell yeah video games hell yeah but maybe not maybe it's older people too who get plenty of sex I don't know I, I can understand where that thought is coming from, but I don't think that a teenager could have, could have made this or a young adult could have made this because they would have been <laughs> far too busy wanking all the time. Uh, maybe. So maybe it's art. Maybe it's like, oh, I have to learn the female form and the male form. Then what better way than to put it in my video game that I can fuck later? <clears throat> Obviously, <laughs> because yeah. what else would you do with the spare <laughs> evening? I sent you another one. It's called Orgy at the Pearl. This one has girls, and I guess they're using that one mod that lets everybody be naked and have parts, because you can see the parts. Yes. You know, it's just like a line <sighs> of people doing it. People you know and love. It's like, I, I kept wondering, like, w when you make this mod... Mm -hmm. First of all, you, you know, you probably need severe brain damage for that already. But then, like, have they never had sex in their entire life? Or why did they put them all just in a line next to each other? Well, I think this is based off of some kind of porn. 
or they're just like, no, just this is we can see it all at once. Put them there. Plop, plop, plop. Uh, like th this is this is perfectly normal. Just you know, four guys going at it next to each other. That that's perfectly fine. That I like that it's Alistair and Morgan together because I kind of ship them a little bit. <laughs> it's nice. Zevran on the left with mm -hmm. who is that? That's probably the warden. Their warden. Probably. Then we have Tamlin with Liliana, who also seems to have severe kidney failure. Th then we have Alistair with Morrigan, and Alistair looks down on himself like he's questioning his life's choices. Yeah, he's not even touching her with his hands. He's well, I guess <laughs> neither is Tamlin. His hands are behind his back. What the heck? Yes, a and he's then he's like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we have Eamon. Eamon is really fully going at it with Anora of all people. Is that who that is? It's hard to tell from this angle. I think on the left, like Isolde is on the left with the Zevran. Mm, maybe. I think that's Isolde and then on the right is uh, Anora. Okay, weird. Why are, why are we analyzing this? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong It's with art, us? I already said that. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Okay, this one also... For Inquisition. Inquisition doesn't really have that many. Harry, nude, male, and jockstrap. Harry. Nude, male. And jockstrap. <clears throat> Is it flat? The junk, it kind of looks flat. It kind of looks like a weird thumb. Yeah, it looks just like a mesh that's just slapped on top. That's disappointing. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't put in the time to, you know, like, properly add another texture of a floppy dick on there. Uh, yeah. You want to see more floppy dick in your life? Obviously. Yeah. Don't we all? Mm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so if you had to vote for your favorite from all of the ones we looked at today, Fussell, what what would you pick? F favorite as in the one that's most depraved, or...? Maybe. Or the one that's, uh, that will probably never leave my mind. Okay, that's a good one. Get, get, do that. I'll go with the realistic horse rears then. Yeah. yeah. That's just, that's kinda just no. One of the ones where I was looking for Witcher mods and I was like, what the fuck? Why doesn't anybody talk about this stuff? Somebody needs to talk about it. So that's why this is a topic on the podcast. <laughs> I, I don't think anyone wants to talk about it but us. Well, you need to increase your awareness, people, and know about women look like leopard and things like that. Yeah, exactly. That. Suffer like we have. Oh, did you notice on the leopard one that she's got a tattoo of a leopard on her face also? I didn't notice that. You know. <laughs> In case you didn't get the message yet. Yeah. Women look like leopard. Let's go to Skyrim and see how long it takes us to find a horny mod <laughs> without um, typing anything in. About four and a half seconds. Yeah popular in the last 30 days. Let's see. Do to do. I mean, I don't think it counts if it's if it's just a woman wearing a skimpy outfit. No, that's because... that's not horny enough. Yeah. <laughs> not horny enough. <laughs> Well, I have better males, which just gives them all floppy dongers. I have animated None prostitution. Uh-oh. Where you can actually prostitute yourself and get paid for it. Oh. Well, that's kind of nice. That's a good way to earn money. <laughs> get touched body slide preset for TBD. Touched by Dibella. Is it Dibella? I don't know how to pronounce her name. There is this... There is, um... Sucky as there's hell, no, yeah. There, there is no coming back from that. Someone made I like, this. I like it. She's pretty. Can, if she had a different outfit, I'd totally use it. It's very red. <laughs> she looks like the devil. <laughs> the, the first thing I sent you after we went through the mod list and your first thought is, I'd bang that. Say that I said I'd play as her. I wouldn't. I mean, I might, but we'd have to get to know each other. You know? <laughs> I wouldn't turn her down. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I have to talk to my boyfriend first, make sure everything's okay. But I think your boyfriend wouldn't disagree. But I they, I mean, they actually put in real effort as well. Just gave them skills and everything. My God. Oh really? Uh, yeah. See, 
That's how you know I'm a F boy because I'm not even looking at the description. <laughs> I'm just looking at pictures. <laughs> wow. Oh, she's oh. pretty in her real form. I think that's what that means. It says real form. She's got cool wings. We have this one too. O6 is an adult animation mod for Skyrim that adds seamless, fully animated, player driven, and controlled adult animations. Uh, uh, adult animation scenes of lovemaking and embracing. That's a fancy way of saying it's prostitution. You ever think about how if every game released their like tools so people could mod them properly, we would have stuff like this for every game. Every game. Oh, Jesus. Every game. <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> Although, to be perfectly honest, I think there are probably Minecraft mods for that. Probably. I'm surprised there aren't, like, more... I mean, I guess Frostbite's hard to mod. But yeah, Frostbite's that there aren't more mod. stuff for Dragon Age Inquisition. I don't think we can find any more disturbing ones. Yep. Oh, okay. I like this. Hmm. I'm going to send this one to you. If it'll load, it's a good name, good image. It's pretty good, pretty good. Maximum <laughs> thick. Oh, fuck sick. It looks like um those fertility statues. She, she looks like a reddish. <laughs> her arms are going through her boobs. That's uncomfortable. <laughs> Pet a cow like you do, naked. Well, yeah, she does look like one of those fertility effigies. Mm-hmm. Did I succeed in doing this? Only you can say. <laughs> I had nothing to do and decided to do this. Okay, okay. Maximum thick, that's it. Boy, she thick, that's the first comment. <laughs> I mean, the mod is called maximum thick. There's just so much wrong with the modding community. <laughs> There's just no coming back from this, Jamie. Yeah, I don't know what the next episode will be about, but... Maybe it should be about, like, sweet things and cute puppies. Going to therapy. <laughs> Burning down the modding community, maybe. Cancelling the internet. <laughs> or that. I just checked The Witcher 2 and there's one of the, well, the fourth most popular mod of all time is more underscore sexy. And it just makes a lot of the women naked. So there, there you go. <laughs> yeah. What, what else would Take it Take their be? clothes. That's all you need to do. Yup, nothing else. Just job done. So, I think uh, that's good for the, the topic. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, th I think the people are probably disturbed now, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun putting in pictures. <laughs> You're gonna have so much fun editing. Yeah, this might be even later than normal. Who knows? Well, I mean, we're um, already overdue, so... Yeah. Anything cool or interesting or fun going on in your real life? Um... Not cooking? Not really. I had vacation this this week, but gotta go work again. So, yay. Shoot me, please. Fun. <laughs> yep. But, nah. Nothing interesting for you. I got a cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. You did get that. How's that yeah. working out? Good. Uh, she sleeps in the bed with me and like right next to me. Like sometimes she'll be on me, but sometimes she'll just be like at my hip. And I keep almost rolling over on her. <laughs> so that's exciting. <laughs> like last night I almost did and she just put her paws out because she was ready for me. She's like, no, bitch. Stop. <laughs> You're too big and I'm tiny. Uh, my, my girlfriend went out with the dog this morning and she met like three other people with dogs so they played you know and then she was she came home the dog was really tired so she just jumped on the bed and napped um mm. <laughs> i walked in wanted to you know just pet her once and mm -hmm. i put my hand on her she first of all let out a sigh she just went like <sighs> <laughs> then she, th then she took her front paw put it on like put it against my uh, forearm and just pushed it away <laughs> It's like, uh -huh. nope, you ain't like, petting me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just leave me. So yeah, that's that's life with my dog. The least cuddly thing in existence. Oh. Hmm? It, I'm just thinking up about real life. The grandma's house is fucked from fire. That's fun. Yeah. 
you did mention something <laughs> there, like yeah. about the fire department, like the people there just wrecked the entire place. Yeah, I went into the house and it was really gross and smoky because also her windows were already boarded up because of the hurricane coming. And so, okay. like, you can't even let air flow in there to, like, yeah. help it out. Um, but, yeah, it was, like, everything was all black. And there was broken glass everywhere from where they just, like, busted lamps and windows. And it was, like, dude, was that necessary? <laughs> how, how did it happen again? Wasn't... Okay, I got more fire. info about this. She, um, she had an air fryer mm -hmm. on top of the stove because she didn't want to hurt her counters if it got hot. And somehow she, like pulled open the drawer she was like frying chicken or something and then pushed it back in it didn't go all the way in and somehow the handle of it hit the stove knobby thing and turned on the burner so oh. the burner caught the air fryer on fire yeah yeah that's shit yeah but it's my favorite house th that's <sighs> doesn't she have like just a fire extinguisher around she did yeah she grabbed it and then her alarm system people called and said asked if she had a fire happening and she's like yeah i'm about to put it out and they're like no get out of the house so she listened which she shouldn't have i wouldn't yeah, have even I've answered the phone but you know i was about to say like so instead of you know her putting out the fire and then just having to buy probably a new air fryer yeah. she like the fire department came and just wrecked her entire place because yeah, they weren't of... listening to her when she was telling them where it started. So they thought it was an electrical fire. So they were like ripping open the walls and busting things. You know how you do. And they went upstairs too, which doesn't make any sense. But maybe it does. I don't know. Okay. Eh. Did, like, yeah. Does her insurance pay for that? I think so, yes. So that's good. Yeah, it's two people in my family... Over like during the summer this year that have had their houses destroyed by fire so I'm like kind of paranoid about <laughs> fire right now yeah stay Fun. far away from your stuff yeah which I have been doing so that's good it, that's like that's what I kind of don't like about gas stoves I really like them mm. because you know they're super fast for cooking but uh, yeah I, I, I'd rather not have an open flame in my house thank you yeah. Yeah. Um I think that's have, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're just ranting about <laughs> stuff now. Uh yeah, where can people find you, I guess? <laughs> you can find me on Twitter and on YouTube, both of which are called Fossilcorn. And where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at uh, fuck me. Is it Mad Jamie? I can really good at this i'm yes. pretty sure that's it if it's not then yeah. that's fine um yeah. and on youtube at jamie mad yeah with two d's i should probably say if people don't know already maybe but to be fair you know there's our names are also in the description and everything and the people that listen to the podcast okay. probably know us i know but you know if somebody stumbles upon it just so they know i forgot you can also sometimes find me and most of the time her as well on Twitch when I'm streaming with all the other idiots like we yeah. did on Saturday for example it was fun the vote is up if you want to watch that it's uh it devolved towards the end yeah. but it was fun <laughs> I thought I was going to be better at drawing but I was not yeah I don't think any of us will <laughs> anyway thank you all for listening and tune in the next time when we hopefully don't talk about depraved horse asses yeah, we promise to make up for our sins next time. Yes. Somehow. Goodbye. Bye.